A man accused of attacking an Attleboro police officer was arraigned from his hospital bed today. The suspect got behind the wheel of the officer's car following a struggle, pinning the officer underneath it. As the officer recovers from his injuries, we're learning more about what happened. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Clunian is live outside of Sturdy Memorial Hospital, where the suspect was arraigned today. Kim? Well, Julianne, that 19-year-old suspect was handcuffed to his hospital bed during today's arraignment. He was ordered held without bail. Arraigned from his Attleboro hospital bed, 19-year-old Christopher Veloz appears before a judge Monday afternoon. The Attleboro man faces multiple charges after police say he attacked a police officer and attempted to hijack his cruiser. Assault and battery on a police officer, a second count of assault and battery on a police officer, disorderly conduct, assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, one count of carjacking, uh, operating under the influence of drugs, another count of carjacking and reckless operation of a motor vehicle. Police say it happened before 4 o'clock Saturday morning near the intersection of County and Reed Streets. Several passing drivers said Velos was standing in the middle of the road trying to get into their cars when they slowed down. 15-year veteran patrolman Joseph Dede was first on the scene. According to police reports, shortly after Dede stopped and got out of his cruiser, Velos attempted to get into the driver's seat and take off. The uh, suspect was able to put the car into drive and accelerate down the road with both both parties hanging out of the car. The car slammed into a utility pole, pinning today's leg in the driver's side door, breaking the officer's ankle. The officer today was able to uh, transmit that uh, his car had been involved in a cruiser accident, he had struck a pole, and that he would needed assistance. Um, it was more of like a distress call. Police say Velos also gave another responding officer a black eye. Both officers are recovering. And again, Velos was ordered held without bail today pending a dangerousness hearing on Friday. An automatic not guilty plea was entered on his behalf. Now, coming up new at 6, we'll tell you some of the shocking new details we've learned by reading through the police reports, including which drugs Velos admitted to taking before this incident. For now, reporting live in Attleboro with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. An Attleboro man arraigned from his hospital bed. Police say he attacked an officer and tried to steal his cruiser. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where the incident happened early Saturday morning in the area of County and Reed Streets in Attleboro. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is live in Attleboro tonight with the latest developments. Well, Julianne, that 19-year-old suspect was ordered held without bail today pending a dangerousness hearing on Friday. And police say the suspect's mental state was severely altered the, during this alleged assault on Saturday, and even a stun gun couldn't stop him. A slew of charges for 19-year-old Christopher Velos after police say he assaulted an officer and attempted to hijack his cruiser, crashing the SUV and injuring the patrolman. Officer Joseph today was called to County Street before sunrise Saturday after multiple people saw Velos standing in the street attempting to get into passing cars that slowed to avoid hitting him. According to police reports obtained by Eyewitness News, one woman told police it was something you would see in a horror movie. Another woman said Velos pulled on her door handle, but her car was locked. After today arrived and got out of his cruiser, Velos tried to get into the driver's seat. Following a struggle, today attempted to use a stun gun on Velos, but the report says it had no effect. Instead, with today still partially hanging out of the driver's side door, police say Velos hit the accelerator, slamming the SUV into a utility pole with such force it pushed the pole two feet. Today's leg was trapped in the driver's side door, his ankle crushed, his face cut and bloodied. Velos was taken to the hospital and, according to reports, asked officers for marijuana and told them, quote, I took mushrooms and smoked weed. At his bedside arraignment Monday, Velos was ordered held without bail. And today, an automatic not guilty plea was entered on behalf of Velos. As far as officer today and another officer who sustained a black eye during this incident, they are now both recovering. Reporting live in Attleboro with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.